G'day, Craig Hagen here again from Coex Training. <clears throat> just want to share um, just some information about the two most common types of gloves we use in HV switching. Probably the most common that you're used to seeing is the voltage rated HV glove. These are primarily designed to protect you from electric shock, which is um, fundamentally used for uh, overhead switching on overhead power lines. With these gloves, it is crucially important, as with all your HV PPE, to thoroughly inspect it before use. Some of the basic inspections uh, you need to do on these gloves is to make sure there's no physical damage, which is the purpose of why we have the, um, the leather gauntlet over the glove to protect it from mechanical damage. Once you've inspected the glove thoroughly, we also need to make sure there's no pinholes in the glove because uh, something as small as a pinhole can allow the electricity to come through and cause an electrocution. The easiest and quickest way to do this is to roll the glove up and put it up to your face and ear and listen for any air leaks and feel for any air leaks on your face. That's the pinhole check. Once you're satisfied that the glove's condition is spot on, we also need to verify its voltage. So if we're switching a 22,000 volt overhead pole top switch, the phase to earth voltage on 22,000 would be 12.7 um, kV, 12.7. Um, we need to make sure that the glove is greater than rated than 12.7. This one here is rated at 17,000 volts, so that fits into that category perfectly. If you were going to switch a 33 kV overhead, then the phase to earth voltage there would be 19.1 kV, and these would not be adequate. These can be used in an indoor scenario with metal clad switch gear, as you can see behind me, but ideally we'd want to get remote, move to a arc flash rated glove in that situation. These gloves would not give you any electric shock protection, but they will protect you from an arc flash. These ones here, according to their label, are rated at 40 calories per square centimetre. So that's the maximum PPE for an arc flash explosion that we can, we can withstand. These gloves too need to be inspected before each use and we're mainly looking for the quality of the stitching and the, uh, the, the glove itself. If any damage to the gloves do are apparent, then they must be discarded. <clears throat>